People who came to the landscaping festival wanted to learn how to garden successfully despite the dry weather. Oh, we decided to come out here. We just moved to the Austin area and we kind of want to get the lowdown on the native stuff that's specific to the hill country. If there's any tips that we can get on making it grow better, safer, less water, we're for it. This time of year you really need to water your lawn about once a month and give it a good soaking. It needs about an inch of water and an easy way to do that is to take some empty tuna cans, set them out on your lawn, turn on your sprinkler and time how long it takes to fill up your tuna cans with an inch. That will tell you how long you need to run your sprinkler. Uh, this is called Asian Jasmine, and you see this in a lot of parking lots around Austin. It's a really great ground cover. It's almost too aggressive, so you want to make sure that if you live next to a preserve or a natural area that you don't plant this, but you should be fine in the city. Composting is a great way to get rid of yard waste and, uh, you know, the head of lettuce that went bad in, the pan in your uh, refrigerator. And when you mix it all together and put in like dry old leaves, maybe grass clippings, over time it'll turn into uh, this kind of product, compost. Compost is good for many reasons. One, it brings a lot of nutrients to your uh, your yard, your lawn, whether you have vegetable garden or a flower bed. Uh, and then essentially it's also a type of, it can help mulch your garden, and especially in drought like we've got now, it's going to be a great way to hold moisture in. And if you touch this, it's, you know, you'll feel that when the mulch is cooked enough, uh, or the compost is, you know, finally broken down enough, you can feel it's holding moisture already and also putting nutrients into your plants. So it's a great way not to throw things away um, and to keep the, you know, recycle something else besides, you know, recycle in your yard. Kids enjoyed the botanical gardens, especially Amelia Schwarz, who invented a game for herself called Flower Detective. Flower Detective is like finding all the flowers and seeing how they're different.